Today we are learning how to use an area model to multiply two-digit numbers. Let's say you wanted to figure out what 63 times 24 equaled. Well, the area model we're going to use is going to look like this, with four different sections. We'll start by breaking up 63. We'll realize that the six tens have a value of 60, and the three ones have a value of 3. We'll do the same thing with 24. The two tens have a value of 20, and the four ones have a value of 4. Now we can start multiplying. In this first blue box, we'll multiply 60 times 20. And to multiply 60 times 20, you can just do 6 times 2, which is 12. And then you count that there's one, two zeros. So you add two zeros to your answer. Then we can keep going. Next, you can multiply 3 times 20 in this pink box. To multiply 3 times 20, you do 3 times 2, which is 6, and then you add 1 zero, 60. Next, we can look to the green box, where we'll multiply 60 times 4. To multiply 60 times 4, you do 6 times 4, which is 24, and add the 1 zero, 240. Finally, in the last purple box, we'll multiply 3 times 4, and you know that 3 times 4 equals 12. Now all that's left is we need to add up all four of these pieces. We add together 1,200, 240, 60, and 12. When we do this, we have 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 in the 1's place, that's 2. In the 10's place, we have 0 plus 4 plus 6 plus 1, which is 11, so we'll regroup it and write it like that. In the 100's place, we have 1 plus 2 plus 2, which is 5. And in the 1,000's place, you just have this 1, so 1. So our answer to 63 times 24 is 1,512. Let's do one of these together. Let's use an area model to figure out what 25 times 36 equals. Well, our area model will start by splitting up the number 25. How should we split up 25? Well, we'll break it up so the two tens have a value of 20, and the five ones have a value of 5. How can we split up 36? Well, three tens have a value of 30, and then six ones have a value of 6. Now we can start by multiplying 20 times 30. What is 20 times 30 equal? Well, 2 times 3 is 6, and then you count you have 1, 2 zeros, so you add 2 zeros to your answer, 600. Next, let's multiply 5 times 30 in this pink box. What is 5 times 30 equal? Well, 5 times 3 is 15, and you need to add 1 zero, so 150. In the green box, let's multiply 20 times 6. What is 20 times 6 equal? Well, 2 times 6 is 12, and you need to add 1 zero, so 120. Finally, in the purple box, we can multiply 5 times 6, and we know 5 times 6 is 30. Now, what do we need to do with all of these pieces? You need to add together all of the pieces of the area model. So we have 600 plus 120 plus 150 plus 30. When you add all of that up, what do you get? Well, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. In the tens, we have 0 plus 2 plus 5 plus 3. That is 10, so we need to regroup it like this. Then we could add 1 plus 6 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9. So 25 times 36 equals 900. Now it's time for you to practice on your own. Use an area model to figure out what 47 times 23 equals. Well, in your area model, you'll split up 47 into 4 tens, or 40, and 7 ones, or 7. You'll split 23 up into 2 tens, or 20, and 3 ones, 3. Then you start multiplying 40 times 20. Well, 40 times 20, 4 times 2 is 8, and we had 1, 2 zeros, 800. Next, you can do 7 times 20. 7 times 20, 7 times 2 is 14, and add 1 zero, 140. Next, you do 40 times 3, and 40 times 3, we do 4 times 3 is 12, and then add 1, 0, 120. And finally, we multiply 7 times 3, and we know 7 times 3 is 21. Now we just need to add together all of these pieces, 800 plus 120 plus 140 plus 21. When you add that all up, what do you get? Well, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 plus 1 is 10, so you could regroup it, but then that 1 is alone up there, so we'll just bring it straight down. 47 times 23 is 1,081. Here's your last one for today. Use an area model to figure out what 82 times 48 equals. 
Well, on your area model, split 82 into 8 tens, or 80, and 2 ones, or 2. Then split 48 into 4 tens, or 40, and 8 ones, or 8. You could then multiply 80 times 40. When you do this, 8 times 4 is 32, and you need to add 1, 2 zeros, 3,200. Then you could do 2 times 40. When you do this, 2 times 4 is 8, and you add 1 zero, 80. In the green box, you do 80 times 8. Well, 80 times 8, we know 8 times 8 is 64, and we add 1 zero, 640. Finally, in the purple box, we do 2 times 8, and 2 times 8 is just 16. When you add this all together, 3,200, 640, 80, and 16, you can add them up to get 0, 0, 0, 6. 0 plus 4 plus 8 plus 1 is 13. 1 plus 2 plus 6 is 9. And just the 3,000s is 3. So 82 times 48 is 3,936. So from today, remember, break up both numbers when you're using an area model. Then you'll multiply each piece on its own before you add all of the pieces together at the end.